Hello, this video will just discuss the math equation editor really quickly because I am receiving lots of questions and really often you asking about the uh, one of the requirements for the discussion which is uh, math equation editor must be used and that's the symbol yeah we can see this is the discussion the lesson six discussion and this is the symbol and in when you will hit that symbol you may use a little bit of latex which is the language to type mathematical symbols and then you can present your question or your answer let me let's see for instance what is this lesson about okay some rules trigonometric functions for instance that means let's for instance let me type something that means let's i would like to type this uh, find the equation of the tangent line to to the function and now i don't want you to type f of x equals to five cosine of x. I would like you to use the math equation editor because this is still fine. This is still, you may use the uh, keyboard. However, we would like to find uh, a tangent line to that curve at the point x equals to and then five pi over three. And this doesn't look good. Yeah, Fractions we can't really uh, get from um, the keyboard unless we find some, some shortcuts, but no, that's not the point. That's, let's see. Uh, we have a bar with all of these icons and uh, at the end we have three dots Okay. We're hitting these three dots. That's the continuation of the uh, bar. And we can see that magic square root of x. Hit the square root of x. And now let's type. Let's maybe use this. And f of x equals to 5 cosine of, oh, not dot, co cosine of x. Okay. And we have to put this, then you can see it's nice. Yeah, that's the, you will learn. You will learn how to edit the LaTeX. And yes, look at this and this comparing. That means then when I see something like this, I know that you did use your math equation editor. That means let's remove the keyboard. Okay. And now at the point, five pi over three again x equals to now fraction we will do this uh, slash uh, and then fractions and numerator and denominator pi slash pi over three and we can see also what we can do you will also learn this with time this fraction is a little bit tiny we can put d in front then look, it's more pronounced, it's better. It means the, or instead of D, we can say display style. It's the same thing, but we don't have to, for we can just put D. Done. And that's not good, not nice. This is pretty. Okay, so you may go ahead and find the equation of the tangent line. Of course, the slope of the tangent is the derivative of the function at the given point, and we know what's the derivative of cosine of x, then substituting 5 pi over 3 using some unit circle values, we will get the slope. Okay, thank you.